minute and we are live hey everybody welcome into the flipping hippos youtube channel thank you for joining us tonight um it's kind of a last notice notification from um alma and myself on instagram we kind of had this in the works for a couple of weeks but we had to wait until we both had enough plush to show so i do appreciate everyone that is here and i would like to say hello to a couple of you casey lakeman is here emily luley tracy thrifts hickory springs adam is here hi adam uh he says hello princess it's the plushy queen i got the crown to wear whenever i do plush haul on since my hashtag on instagram is the plushy queen and i'm gonna go ahead and let i'm gonna say hi i'm gonna mess with my light a little bit i feel like i look like a okay hi everyone I recognize a lot of you guys. Let me see. Um, Casey Lakeman, Crystal is here. Uh, Emily Luley. Hi. Well, we've been wanting to do this for a little bit, but I didn't have enough plush. We've got rain. And so anyway, I picked up a good amount, not too much. So, but I have some cute stuff to show. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi, Wade. Wade's in the chat. Yeah, Wade says queen, even though he's the one that said I earned my plushy queen title. <laughs> yeah. Besides that, on my channel, I can be whatever I want. I could be an alien or a princess or a pirate, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, David. Thanks for stopping in. Thrifty so, Dad is here. How are you guys? I'm going to let you go ahead and get started. I'm just going to pull one of my friends over here. Every good queen has a dragon, right? <laughs> that is so cute. I'm saving him for last. He's my favorite. All right. I'm just trying to position the pop-out window so I can see everyone in the chat. Um, hi, Tammy. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Okay. So how do you want to do this? You want me to show? You want me to pick one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, I'll start with this little guy. He's a pound puppy, right? Do you remember them? Yes. Town puppy. Um, he has a little box inside, so I haven't um, tested him or anything, but I'm guessing that, you know, he's supposed to um, bark or something. So I thought he was cute, and um, I remember having one of these back in the day, so this is really cute. He's a lot smaller than I remember them, but they made kind of bigger ones. I used to have one. Um, so I've never had a pound puppy for my store before. So we'll see how he does. Those really giant ones do really well. I've sold them for, before for like 25 plus shipping. I sold um, today, surprisingly, I sold a plush on uh, Bonanza. Wow, that's awesome. I've never, I've never sold plush anywhere but eBay. I've even put a ton on Macari because I heard they do well on Macari. Um, but speaking of having something that has a box and you don't know if it works or not, if it's the right brand and the right character, go ahead and pick it up. Because if you bring it home and test it and it doesn't work, they can still fetch a good amount of money. I would just suggest if you're not sure, like if you're just in the store and you know you're going to have to take it home and test it with batteries, don't spend more than like two bucks, just in case. Oh, yeah. I sold an Elmo that was um, that didn't work once I tested him. And I just put that in the listing and it's still sold. Yeah. they still, I just wouldn't spend my personal advice yeah. not more than two dollars look at this guy very cute oh. this is the easter bunny Winnie the pooh i don't know if he works yet i still have to test him he does have the battery box he wouldn't do anything for me in the store but that could just mean his batteries are dead or he needs batteries and then even if they work in the store i would also say when you get them home check their battery box and make sure they don't have any corrosion a lot of times the batteries will be in there so long they get corroded and you want to clean that up before you list it because that's the quickest way for someone to return a blush to you is if they get one where there's corrosion in the box right and that can be cleaned like you can use a little um toothbrush or really fine sandpaper and you can clean that out and then put your batteries in and sometimes they, they will still work yeah we use um q-tips but i think toothbrush like a dollar store toothbrush would probably work a little bit better yeah um he's not a disney brand he is applause but for what he is 
Um, I paid two dollars for him. I'll show you. So he has to be tested. I have a whole death pile of needs to be tested animals. Poor things. They're just waiting. <laughs> Um, okay, so all of my plush is from the bins. So I paid, you know, maybe I'll, I'll show this next one, which is um, Big Bird. And, um, you know, he weighs, I don't know, less than a pound. So probably paid about 80 cents for him or so. But um, I am pretty excited about this one because I've never had a Big Bird. I don't know the brand. Um Always losing my glasses. Um, oh, I think it's applause. Yeah, that's applause. Yep, applause. And he's pretty cute, pretty clean, really nice. So <laughs> if I can part with him, he will go in my store. That's what happens. So I don't, I don't. Do you get emotionally attached to your plush? Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, I told you on Instagram the other night. I have staff meetings. Like I will line all the ones up that I really, really like behind me while I work. <laughs> and um. I mean, confession time, it's a lonely business when you're a reseller. So sometimes I have conversations with my plush. Um, they're good listeners. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was funny. That was in response to my mannequin staff meeting. I was like, yeah. I'm calling the staff meeting. Um, my hamsters like to sleep a lot during the day. If it's late at night, I talk to my hamsters. They actually listen. They come to the edge and do the cage. But if they're asleep, I talk to my plush. I mean, someone's going to commit me, right? <laughs> I got this crown on my head and I talk to animals, but um, I'm going to keep with your Sesame Street theme here. Aw, about Sesame Street. I have a little cookie monster. <laughs> He's got, this is what I was playing with. He's got a loose thread. I'll have to cut that off. Um, he came from a yard sale. He's got a little bit of like a mark on his tag, and I'll just disclose that. Um, but he has Sesame Street band, and he's also got um, something going on with his eyes. <laughs> um, I'll just disclose the fact that he's got some writing on him and his eyes a little damaged and probably take like two to five bucks off, whatever I compliment. Uh, someone wants to know what my cleaner is. It's called Awesome. It must awesome. be from the, um, from the Dollar Tree. Awesome. And you can get it in the squirt bottle for a dollar, or you can get it in the 32 ouncer. Oh, my label's on upside down. Isn't that cute? <laughs> um, these are both a dollar. So if you have a squirt bottle already, just buy this one because it's 32 ounces versus, I don't even know, 20 fluid ounces. So you get a lot more for your bang, and you can just refill your bottle. Now they, make, they make a dry powder of that. And, oh, yeah? Um, yeah, I, I picked some up at the Dollar Tree, and I like to um, make it like a little paste. You put a little water with it, and then with a mm -hmm. brush. Um, I use it on shoes sometimes. Just uh -huh. this when, you, <laughs> when you do shoes. In the Jamie beach. asked if I started my Amazon account yet. No. Um, the only leads we've gotten so far that have panned out for inventory that wasn't clothing has been electronics, and that's not something we want to start with on Amazon. We want to have a, an account built up before we start with electronics for reasons that I can go into in another video. Yeah, I, I've sold a couple of plush on Amazon. If they are um, new with tags, I will send them in to um, Amazon FBA. So. We've never done anything. Um, we're looking into starting it for sure, but Jamie's actually the one that gave us the advice not to start with electronics because if you start getting scammers and hit with the A to Z, yeah, you can't absorb it as well if you're new than if you have a established account. Right. Um, okay, so this one is uh, a little minion, and he's got his little tag, but it's it's pretty beat up, so I don't know. Not um, not the minion, but the the tag. Um, this is one that maybe I might send to Amazon, but I don't know. What do you think, um, Jamie? With the tag being bent, you, the ones I've sent have been like perfect pristine. So I don't know about this one, but 
usually if it's new with it, um, a really, you know, with tags and just no flaw at all, I can send them to Amazon. Um, thank you so much, Tammy White, for the $5 super chat. She says you are great. That, well, thank you. you. Have, I wouldn't do anything without you guys, so you're pretty fantastic, too. Do you have your um, super chat dance yet? No, I don't have a super Supposed chat dance. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I just want to add real quick, because I, I did tell my subscribers that this was going to not be like a challenge like Wade and I did. This was going to be more of a learning experience, us showing people bolos. Be careful with the ones that have the tags, because that doesn't mean they're new. It's not like clothing. Somebody could have had a stuffy a stuffy, a plushie for 20 years and have tags on it. So like you said, unless it's pristine, I wouldn't call it new tags. I would just say used in great condition has all original tags. Right. Um, okay. No. And Jamie says, nope, needs to be perfect. Uh, perfect. You could, but Amazon buyers are kind of harsh. Yeah. That's, that's kind of my hesitation. The ones I have sent have been perfect. So I won't send that minion because the little corner of the tag is like kind of almost chewed up or bent really badly. So I won't do that one. Well, this is one I'm going to keep for myself. And actually, um, Keith sourced this and he brought it over to me. I was in the Goodwill going through shoes. Uh, <laughs> that video is coming, right? You're, you're working yeah. on that? Okay. I lost a bunch of footage, but I think I can retrieve it off of my computer. But I need Keith to have time to be a nerd to get it back for me out of the recycling bin or whatever but um if i can't find it you guys just get what i got but anyway he was so excited he brought this over to me because it's a hammy it's a oh. hamster like my little hammies that i have that I, I love i have two hamsters alma if you didn't know yes uh -huh. um they're my babies and um so this is a yolo hamster <laughs> you only live once you can pull its hood up if you want Oh, I and thought it was chill. What is that that car make that had the dancing dancing hamsters in hoodies? Do you remember that commercial? The ones that went do 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 those ones. <laughs> I don't remember. It was a vehicle. It was a car commercial, and it had, does anybody in the chat know that was they were like dancing hamsters and they drive off in the car? It was so cute. Jamie uh, calls my hamsters rats, y'all. <laughs> he rats. Right um, but this one is definitely a keeper. He is actually so special that he's going to go on my special shelf with all my hip hooks. Oh, okay. Adam says it's a, it's the Kia commercial. Yeah, that was back back of ways. Yeah, you remember Kia. Yep, it was a Kia commercial and they had the dance, dancing hamsters or some other kind of rodent. I'll have to do that. <laughs> Um, okay, so I do really well with uh, Scentsy plush. These are the ones that you put the little scent pouch into. Oh, I've never seen them. They are called, um, they're actually called Scentsy Buddies. And they come in all different kinds. So this is a little monkey. And actually, I was trying to write, reach for the other one because I found, I found two identical ones. Oh, there he is. Okay. So... Oh my gosh, they are so cute. <laughs> and um, and they do really well, guys. If you find these, you'll know them um, by this symbol here. I don't know what that is, but it they always have this little little patch sewn to their bottom. And um, and then they're called Scentsy Buddies. They're they have a little zipper in the back, and you can put a Scentsy pouch um, right into them. And then set them somewhere and they, they smell good, whatever scent um, you choose. But um, I've sold, um, I sold a little pig, a cat, a little cow, I think. And now I have these little guys. So, Scentsy Buddies. I have never seen those in the wild. I had a friend years ago that sold Scentsy. Uh -huh. And I've seen them that way, but I've never found those. They're cute. I'd probably keep them. All right, guys, this is a Builder Bear. Oh, there we go. I talk about build a bear all the time. Um, so at the risk of repeating myself, your recognizable pop culture characters in your build a bears and costumes are going to fetch you more money than the plain ones. But the plain ones are still worth a bit if you can get them cheap enough. 
Um, this one I categorize in with the uh, recognizable pop culture. It's a worldwide federation animal, and I do really well with the WWF build a pair animals. And um, this is the first giraffe I've ever had. I've had other animals, and this is actually a giraffe. I think I did a haul video a couple weeks ago with a cow, and I called it a giraffe. This one is actually a giraffe. <laughs> he has the neck. Um, but I'll probably ask for like 20 to 25 for him, plus them paying shipping because he weighs over a pound. And um, I'll probably end up taking like 20, but you know. Yeah, he's cute. He is. Okay, so keeping with um, Build a Bear, that's what this one is. But it's a pink cat that is just too cute for me to part with. <laughs> so this is this is one I'll keep and I'll, I'll stick up on um, a shelf somewhere because I love cats. I have cats. And, of course, he's pink. So that just means it's for me. But, um, but yeah, he does. They do well. Um, if it's some kind of unique character, I have passed on, you know, the regular bears um, sometimes. But a lot of these... I was getting in at yard sales like for a dollar. So that's mm -hmm. really good. Um, if you find them at the bins, that's even better because less than a dollar. Yeah, the unique ones are better. I just sold the plain brown bear, a naked one with no costume, for 12 plus shipping. Nice. So it just depends on how long you want to sit. I'm going to save him. All right, you guys. Oh. This one is bashful. <laughs> <laughs> he is an official Disney store, which um, Disney store and Disney parks really amp up what you can ask for them. The more obscure characters like this are always worth more. So I picked him up at a yard sale. Full disclosure, a lot of my plushies I'm showing you guys are from my death file because I had so many I stopped sourcing for them. Um, but I can tell where they came from if they have a goodwill tag. They came from Goodwill, and if they don't, they came from a yard sale. Because I have not been to the bend since the beginning of the year. So, oh, cute! Yeah. Are, you, um, are you going to list these? Is that um, part of the listing for this week, or how do you? <laughs> Eventually, I, I really wish you could see how many I just brought down here. Um, <laughs> you know the large Goodwill bags. Yeah, I brought four of those down, and two great big like flat the finger pad of flat envelopes come in yeah well and then i have two more boxes out here in this other room and then i have another box upstairs and like five more bags oh my gosh so i don't know <laughs> and i think there's more like buried but yeah we are trying to get through our death piles this this month i should say as we move into fourth quarter so um, now that they're down here, more than likely they will get photographed, but I don't want to get logged down with just doing all plushies and not putting anything else in the store. Right. So right. I'll probably yeah. do like maybe 20 to 40 a week and then try to focus on jeans and other stuff. So Adam says he's not a cat person, but he thought this one was cute. Well, thank you, Adam. He is really, she, she, he, I think it's a she. She's got eyelashes. He is really cute. Um, um, is there a website where they list plushy bows? <clears throat> there are websites out there as far as like Beanie Babies, Build-A-Bears, Disney, uh, Sesame Street, like anything popular like that, they, you can find a website somewhere where they're listing their value, but that doesn't mean anything on eBay world. That means nothing on eBay land. <laughs> you have to do your comps on eBay. Yeah, I do belong to a couple of um, Facebook groups on plushy, but it's more... They're more for sharing um, to see what people have sold and what they've sold it for, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of little shout outs of their sales. But that's that's good too. Um, I know about okay. people those I'm in, but I wouldn't trust the websites because people right. on the websites are gonna tell you this Beanie Baby's worth 50 bucks and you're never gonna get that on eBay. Honestly, I don't even really learn that something new to me. Yeah. I just put up what I want. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a, I have a little sleepy guy here. Just like he's smaller than yours, though. I think how, how big was he? the same? He's yeah. like nine inches, maybe. So this one is sleepy. That's his friend. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> but this one is not, you said yours, mine says, um, well, it says Walt Disney. It's a different tag. Disney Parks, just as good. Yeah, so he's cute. He's That's so cute. cute. That's so cool how we have like, <laughs> <the same>. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, let's pull him out. So the bigger ones of these are going to get you a lot more money. Um, but I had to buy this little one because she was only 99 cents. If you can see, it's a little Care Bear. I don't even know what this one is. I'll have to Google unless anybody wants, knows and wants to put in the chat. When I get Care Bears or My Little Ponies that are new to me, I just Google uh, Care Bear with whatever on their tummy or uh, My Little Pony Cutie. Is it called the Cutie Mark, I think? And then they'll tell you who they are. But I usually only, she's got like a friendship bracelet on her that's not like factory there. <laughs> so, but I, her. I mean, for 99 cents, I thought, um, Worst case, I'll get like 12 to 15 for her. She doesn't weigh much. She's an official. And um, I want to be careful when I take her tag off. Because sometimes when they put these on their tush tags and you pull it off, it pulls off like the writing on the tag. You have to be careful. I can't see. But if, when it comes to Care Bears, look for the ones that say Kelly toy. I'm giving you all my secrets tonight. But see how that's peeling off the writing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it really can't be helped unless you want your, your buyer to see that you paid a dollar. But, yeah, she had a little tuft of hair that I really enjoyed. I thought she was cute. Um, Adam, Adam's asking about um, never have any luck at the bins, wondering if it's worth traveling. Now, I don't source specifically for plush. I don't think taking a trip just for plush would be um, worth it to me initially. As I source for other things, I will, of course, never pass up um, a good plushie. So do you source specifically for plush, Star? Um, no. no. I definitely always look for it wherever I'm at and hone in on it, but I would never make a special trip. So if we go to yard sales, Keith goes to electronics, I go to the plush. And in the Goodwill, I always look at jeans before I look at plush. So, yeah. I mean, I definitely never pass up on looking at it, but I would never make a special trip. Yeah, Adam, I think that was Star's cha-ching. Did you get a cha-ching, Star? I did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, it's a bad offer. I have an offer. I have my phone on silent, but I, I did get an offer I haven't looked at yet. Um, yesterday I had my large, my highest selling day on eBay. It was $320 and I've never done that before. Congratulations. Yeah. We've had a pretty bad couple of days. Well, and the day before that I sold like, I don't know, $30. <laughs> so yeah. it's about out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. We had a couple of phones sell, but they're just sitting there not being paid for. Yeah. That's always fun. Um, what do you mail the big plushies in? That, I can't arbitrarily say how I mail my plushie depends on a lot of contingencies. Does it have a hang tag? Does it have glass eyes? How much did they pay for it? If you have the time later, if you uh, look on my playlist, I have a playlist called Tips and Tricks for Plush, and you can find a shipping video on there that will tell you um, how, to, how we ship our plush, because it all depends on its value and its hang tag. There's a lot of stuff that we take into play. If it's a plain big one like this with no tags, we have giant poly bags, but other things can depend. And sometimes when they pay for their shipping, we feel like it should go in a box because they pay for shipping. And so they get a little fancier. Um, they get a box with tissue paper and stuff. Right. Yeah, I do the same. A lot of it goes first class and just different size poly mailers. Mm -hmm. um, this one, I just got one of these a um, couple weeks ago, and I found another one. He hasn't sold yet, though, but this is um, Mike from, um, oh, let's see, that's Disney from Monsters, Inc. So, um, yeah, I have one sitting in my store now, but I'll have another one now. I had a small one of him, um, and he went for 12 so. Nice. 
I think I need, he needs a little cleaning on his eyes. So I will use some either OxyClean or some of that awesome um, I like to use. So I just pulled out one that I'm looking at going, why? Is <laughs> <laughs> there a big iguana? This is Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> and he's a Fiesta, which is kind of like a generic -y brand for plush. He spoke to you on that day, though, something. I don't know. He was 99 cents. And he said, maybe it was just because he said Guantanamo Bay. But I thought he was unique enough. Um, but he's an iguana. He's, he's cute. cute. You're cute. <laughs> I just don't know why I got you. <laughs> I used to have iguanas. And then um, I was moving and I had to gift them to someone. But they're interesting little guys. Um, Jamie says, don't be the seller that uses glitter in the tissue paper. Hate that. All my tissue paper is from the bins. So I've even sent someone happy birthday tissue paper. Um, oh, stuffed, stuffed in shoes, like, you know, to keep their shape, I will put tissue paper in there. And I don't think I've paid for tissue paper in like over a year. And I do have eBay tissue paper. Yeah, this is ours. We use our coupon in it. Yeah. And then I have plain white stuff I get from the Dollar Tree for my posh. Nice. No glitter. No glitter, no glitter Jamie. Um, Tammy picked up a Harley jacket Saturday that already sold for a hundred dollars. Good job. Awesome. Congratulations. That is amazing. I think it's your turn after my lame lizard. Okay. I don't know who this is, but it says Nickelodeon. So I grabbed oh, it. It's that's a squirrel of some kind. Oh, Sally squirrel from SpongeBob. Is it Sally? Oh. Isn't SpongeBob under the water? Why would she be? I swear there's a squirrel on SpongeBob. <laughs> How is that that I don't understand. Okay. So that's and, what it is. And yeah, it's uh, Nickelodeon. Oh, Tammy says, yeah, Sandy from SpongeBob. Sandy. So she usually has a. Like a scuba suit, or how does she live yeah. in the water? Because it's a cartoon <laughs> with a talking <laughs> sponge, and you're questioning the squirrel. <laughs> it's not real, Alma. That's why. Okay, okay, I'll get past that. <laughs> it's like people who question Quidditch. I'm like, you're questioning Quidditch, but not the fact that there's wizards. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got here. I don't care about him. I just hurt somebody's feelings. Sorry. <laughs> that was that's a bald eagle, maybe? He's, yeah, but he's a... Uh, is it a pillow uh, pet? No, he's, he's like a nothing. Like, I've never even heard of that brand. I think I just picked them up because he was 99 cents. You were patriotic on that day. Yeah, I was going to show you my Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, yay. He's got the official Warner Brothers on his tag. He's just like a wee little one. But he'll probably go for like 12 to 15. And bye, Jamie. Jamie's leaving. Okay, bye, Jamie. Tell your kids hi. He's going to go cook some amazing dinner that he shows on Instagram. <laughs> Hey, everybody that's been coming in. Hello, how are you? Okay. I see Tony and Chicker and Gina. I'm blind. I'm like, I'm like you. I need glasses. Um, okay, so I think I'm next. This is a Pottery Barn. And I've sold, I have like three Pottery Barn um, plushies. And I've sold only one of them. But um, this is a frog. In a very pale green color. I don't know if he's coming through as a kind of a limey green color. Um, he's, cute. he's cute. I guess for someone's decor. Um, pottery Barn. Not something I sell always, but I have sold one before. So I have a wee little bug, Bunny, from Space Jam. 
He's still got his hang tag. And his basketball affixes to his hand with the word we're not supposed to use. Velcro <laughs> on his little basketball uniform. It says Space Jam. And I know it's like an older movie, but you always have people that like those older movies that like the plush from them. Right. Well, there's a new Space Jam coming soon. Is there? Yeah. I think it's going to be. I think it's the one. Yeah. What'd you say? I think it's going to be with LeBron James this time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know who that is. <laughs> okay. I know who he is. <laughs> um, okay. Let me see. Oh, this is another. Well, I just talked about these, but this is another Sensi, but it's a frog. And sometimes they leave the little pouches in them these don't have them but same thing little patch on his butt and cute he's cute okay yeah that was a bugs bunny adam from the movie space jam i got this one i reckon my death pile is so big and bad i'm like actually having to second guess why i got some of these <laughs> um I think because it said Toys R Us, which is no longer around, and it was cute. Oh, Look at yeah. that face. His floppy ears. It, it reminds me of if anybody's ever read the book Watership Down, the rabbits from that book. But I don't know. I just think he's so soft. And he might stay. <laughs> <laughs> really I like yeah, he's very realistic. He's so cute. Barbara did. First time here. Thanks for joining us. Um, your Goodwill sells them for 25 cents. My Goodwill does not sell any plush that I can see in their retail stores. I've never f seen any, but yet I find it at the Goodwill bins. So that's kind of crazy. They probably just send them there. The yeah. one closest to us has a shopping cart at the front. And Dom saw their older ones in, and they used to be three for a dollar, but now they are 50 cents a piece. They did raise the price on me, so I used to be able to get them for 33 cents. But And then all the other Goodwills, they're 99 cents um, or a dollar 99, unless somebody crazy marked it. I've seen some of these I'm showing you that I got for 99 cents. I've seen similar marked for like five, six, and eight bucks. Yeah. So. Um, is it my turn? I think it is. Yep. Um, okay, picked up a Smurf. The, the, the little guy that carries the mirror around. Who is he? Vanity. Vanity, that makes sense. And he is um, Kelly Toy. Oh, hold on, got a pop up on my window here. I can't see you. Okay. Um, he's Kelly Toy Smurfs. And you said he is Vanity, right? Yep, that's Vanity Smurf. Vanity Smurf. Okay. All right, this one is Hasbro. So he's not Disney, but that's okay with me. Oh, I believe this is Simba and not Mufasa. I think it's the adult Simba. But he has... Um, a box and I need to test him. He's supposed to do something. But I think he might be from the Broadway music musical and not the Lion King cartoon because he has that symbol on his foot. Oh, okay. Um, so he might be from the Broadway musical. Once I peeled the price tag off of his tush tag there, I'll be able to know more and get his batteries in them. But he's really clean. And I don't know what this hair is. Like, is this armpit hair going on? See it? <laughs> <laughs> he has weird hair under his arms. I don't very know what's European. going on. A very European one there. <laughs> um, okay, this is not a plushie, but I had to have it. It's a Mickey Mouse um, ears Christmas hat. It was in the plushie. Um, it is Disney. So, and I've done well on eBay selling um, um, 
Mickey Mouse ears or uh, Mickey Mouse caps for children, for toddlers. And so um, I will always pick up this kind of stuff because someone is going to Disney during this time and may want to have a Christmas hat. Absolutely. And stockings as well. They have um, like stockings with the plush Tigger heads and Winnie the Pooh heads at the top. All right. Bye, Let's Adam. Bye, Adam. I have an Alvin. Oh. <laughs> and um, you can pull his hoodie down. And he has little tufts of hair. Whenever they have these little tufts of hair, I just think they're, I don't know, so cute. I just noticed that I say that in a lot of my haul videos. I'm like, and he's got a tuft of hair. <laughs> I should edit me saying that together. <laughs> Do a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't even tell what brand he is. They have three because it was necessary to put three of the blue 99 cent stickers on him. There's one in the middle and one on each side. So I'm going to have to be like really careful when I take these off. Hi, Barry, Thrifty Santa. Oh, you like that Mickey Mouse hat, huh? I don't know if it's, maybe it's an adult size. Let's see. I guess it could be, right? Perhaps, if I didn't have so much hair. <laughs> it could fit. This is a kid's size. Yeah, could fit on my big head. Um, okay. And hi, Barry. This one is um, is just Aurora. But there are people who just love turtles. And he I is like turtles. <laughs> yeah. He, he actually um, is a sitting plush, so he will sit just like that. Oh. That yeah. is so cute if you like turtles. Yeah. If you like turtles, he's adorable. He's Great so guy. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. He's huge. I know. I'm like, how do I even show all of them? He's like, as long as I am tall. It's Scooby Doo. Oh, look at that. He's so cute. He is ginormous. Um, he will. Sorry, Cookie Monster. He will be one that will not be photographed on our white background. I have a black fuzzy blanket, and so the big giant ones like this, I put on my bed on top of that that blanket. Oh, he's adorable. That is cute. You, gotta get, you have to get that one listed right away. He's been <laughs> around for a long time. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let me see. Um, I don't have that many more, but um, okay, we'll just keep going. And then you can do some uh, even after I run out if you'd like, because I'd love to see him. Um, I have a Smurfette. He's a little larger than that other Smurf, but isn't she cute? She's adorable. I always do really well with Smurfs. And she's got her little skirt, but she has no tush tag that I can see. Oh, wait, maybe. Okay, yeah. That just says the Smurfs. Oh. So it's under her hair. So, um, Northwest Purple Sparkles asks, how long did it take you to accumulate these hauls? Um... Some of this stuff is, I don't know. I have to be honest. I don't know. I have like 500 plus plush in the death pile. And I did not have a plushy death pile in the spring. So just through the spring and the summer, um, I have a really bad habit of going to people's yard sales. And you know how they'll have the blankets out with like tons of plush on them or the tables. I'll just get right out of the car and walk up to them and be like, do you have a box? And then I want all of these. <laughs> and they'll just give me every single plush they have. I bought out a Disney collection, a Tigger collection, a Boyd's Bear collection this summer. Um, and then that was just like the three like themed collections I bought. There was one lady I bought like 35 from her for like $15. But a lot of times they're so grateful that I'm just like, I'll take everything. I get a really good deal. So I would just come home every weekend with like hundreds of plush. Um, and they accumulated. <laughs> yeah, everything that I'm showing, I sourced on Sunday. So it was one trip to the bins um, is what I'm showing right now. Yeah, these have just been um, 
I've been working my way through the Disney and the Tigger hauls that I got because of the movie that just came out. So everything else got kind of like boxed up or bagged up and put upstairs in the death piles. And um, just the Disney person that I bought out, it was like 50 some plush. And yeah. then um, the Tigger lady was like 30 some plush, 40 maybe. And like I said earlier, I only try to photograph and list 20 to 40 plush a week because I don't want to just do all plush. I want to make sure that I have like 30 to 40 pairs of jeans also going up and corduroys and, you know, like sweaters, whatever the season is. I don't, I don't like just focus. And then we have, um, so they just accumulate. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, I, I have been doing really well with yard sales and then we got all that rain and um, hopefully this weekend maybe um, I'll be able to hit some yard sales. Um, but you get to kind of a um, an end of your yard sale season, right? You won't be able to pick up plush like that. We're very close. Um, it's been raining for like a month. And uh, it's starting to cool down. So if the rain doesn't end soon, we may already be done. Because okay. by the time it ends, it'll be too cold. Um, we have a very limited time with yard sales. From like the end of May beginning of May sometimes but usually not till after Memorial Day until like the end of September depending mm -hmm. so like this will last me though that's the thing like I can buy 500 plushies in the summertime and then come next spring or summer I won't have any left because I don't really find them I find two or three at the Goodwills every time I go so this is like my get me through the winter pile <laughs> yeah um, but I do have a couple more I want to show if you don't mind. Okay. I have um I have three more. Okay. So now I'm being picky. <laughs> Just throwing them around. I have another Care Bear. A big one. Who is also a bag. See? This one's a little bag. And it's official Care Bears. This one needs to go up sooner rather than later, too. This is Lucky Bear. Cute. And so a little oh. tuft of hair in the top. He does! Oh. Oh. See, I think I like the flip plushies because somewhere inside of me, there's like a 12-year-old little girl that still likes animals. I love my days um, when I do photos of plush. That is like the most fun I have is photographing when I do photographing of plush. Yeah, that's my favorite too. I call it photo shoots though. Yeah. Like I'll take a picture of all of them sitting here in a pile and and uh, post Instagram. Here are all my friends awaiting their photo shoot. And um, those of you that follow me on Instagram know every time I sell one, I say that it found its new forever home and that we're sending it off today. But they are fun. They are fun to look for. They are fun to dig for. They are fun to show on a haul video. They're fun to photograph. They're fun to pack. Yeah, I think you need to have a storage solution. Like if you don't have the kind of space that you have, Star, mm -hmm. it, can get, it can get out of hand, you know, just having to store them because they do take up a lot of room. Um, I'm finding that out, but I can't stop buying them. But all, 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 mine, all of mine are listed except what I'm showing, and I'll list these in the next week or so. There's over 2 million plush listed on eBay right now. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm like half a million of mine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I probably have like three to 400 live right now. Okay, um, I have, well, I'll show this one first. I have this little guy. I was going to tape him to my head because... Oh. That's something you like to do <laughs> or you have done. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. I thought you'd like him. Um, okay, what is he? He's um, Aurora. But he's just this cute, pretty gray color. He has a little tail. I know. I see it. It's tough. <laughs> so I had to bring him on the Flippin' Hippos channel. He's cute. All right. Oh, I'm just sitting here waiting for you. 
sorry. All right, I'll show you guys this one. And then we'll move to the one behind me. Does anybody recognize him? Huh. Pete's a guy of some kind. From, I think, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese's. Oh, cute. Um, I know. He's got his apron, his little hat. He's got this mustache. He does have a stain on his hat. But when I list him, I'll probably be funny about that and, like, disclose it and say he has a pizza stain. <laughs> that is too cute. I, I am all anti-new Chuck E. Cheese guy because I love the big fat mouse or rat they used to use. And now they have this, you know, thin looking, sadly looking mouse. Um, I don't think I've seen the new one, but I love the old one. I know. I love the old one, too. Okay. And then um, I have this guy. And this is um, Sesame Street? No. Muppets. Fozzie. Fozzie from the Muppets. Yeah. And he has his little hat. Really cute. Um, he is official Disney. Oh, that's so cool. And it's hard to find the official Disney Muppets. Yeah, so he's got that on his foot. And on um on his tag, uh Disney store. I had a Fozzie that was from um somewhere in Vegas. I want to say Circus Circus, but I'm probably wrong. And he sold for like 20 something, so yeah. Yeah, I think the more obscure characters, you can ask for more money. Because, um, you know, for every Kermit you have, for every 10 Kermits, there's probably one body, you know. I've already sold two of these. This is Fidwick. Yes, and he is Fidwick the Moose from a Dr. Seuss book about Fidwick the Moose. Um, my youngest son, it was one of his favorite books. Fidwick was always looking for some nice moose moss to munch. <laughs> and he started to let all these animals live in his antlers because he had a good heart. And by the end, he had so many um, other animals in his antlers, he couldn't even hold his head up. And uh, hunters chased him, and he was okay. But <laughs> my son always loved Fidwick the moose. And so I've sold two of these. I might keep this one now that... This is the third one I found. Maybe someone's trying to tell me that I need to have a thin whip the most. But, all right, I'm gonna show you my coop de raw back here. I might keep this, I don't know, because this is gonna be worth a lot of money. You guys know I talk about this brand all the time. Classic toy company, and they're very cheap, listen. You hear what he's stuffed with? It's like the beads or the little styrofoam almost beads. Yeah, those beads. These are very cheap. They're like um, carnival toys or like the claw machine toys. But for whatever reason, the classic toy company goes for a pretty good amount of money. Um, especially the more obscure characters like this. I believe we had a snake. That sold for 50 last summer. Wow. I saw it at a yard sale. Um, so if you can find anything, I know I had another one. That's Classic Toy Company. Always, 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 always pick it up. I have this, I don't know if it's a dog or a bear. Um, I had a monkey. He ran away. But yeah, if you ever find these, this is like the one bolo I always tell people to get them. They look cheap, so people will pass them over because it's like, oh, that's not even a recognizable character, or they, you know, look cheap. But the ones that are like this big, that are like really cool characters, like this dragon, always get. I love his tongue. Mm -hmm. And he's sparkly. So, I don't know. I, I'm really tempted to keep the dragon, though. Well, every, every queen and princess needs a dragon. I know, and he's so cool. <laughs> but I'm sure that I could probably ask for like 40. Yeah. So at least I have to comp him. I've never done a dragon. 
of that brand. I um have monkeys and dogs, but yeah, every time I see that brand, I always pick it up. And I, I always do well with it. So does anybody in the chat have any more questions or anything? I'm gonna see if I have any more like really exciting bolos to show anybody. I have a couple of Sonics. Oh, you should list those, my goodness. I should list everything in my death pile. <laughs> so, I have like, two one pairs of jeans waiting for me too. <laughs> um, Phantom of the Opera. He's like an official Universal Monsters. Oh, nice. Yeah. I have a troll with the, with the hard head. Creepy. Yeah, she's a little creepy. I have a, apparently a naked Cabbage Patch kit. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the signature. Remember those? Yeah. There's some clothes in this bag, so apparently I meant to dress her at some point. You just mooned us all with your little cabbage patch doll. Well, I'm putting clothes on her now. You guys come across lots of plush that aren't in good condition that you just pass on? Yes, I do. I, I, they're at the bin, so I pass on a lot, a lot of stuff. Yeah, it depends on what it is, too, though. Um, where's that? That fan of the opera I showed you guys, he had some damage and were it anything else, I would have passed up on it. But it was Phantom of the Opera and it was Universal Studios. So I'm gonna list it with the damage. So I guess it kind of depends, you know, if it's really bad, I pass. If it's something that Yeah, if it's something super unique, um, that you don't see very often and the damage is minimal, I you know, I might pick it up, but I probably pass on more plush than I pick up. I'll, I'll say that at the Goodwill bins. Yeah, at the bins for sure. Um, yard sales, it's like if if one of them is in good shape, chances are all of them are going to be because they're from somebody who took care of their stuffed animals. So um, I just buy them out. See, he's got damage to his mask. If you can see where it's like the white's coming off. Mm -hmm. But he's so unique, I didn't want to not get him. She's dressed. Oh, cute. So you had the clothes just separately. I might have run her through the wash. I don't know. I don't even remember her. Who are you? <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> oh, no. She's just part of your creepy attic, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I have one more one more to show. Okay. And um and I think I'll end on this one this, unless you want to keep showing, but I um I'll I'll be done after after this guy. <gasps> oh, he's so <laughs> Look how beautiful this hippo is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and this one is for you. I'm going to send it to you. He can Oh, you don't have to do that. Uh, I am. I picked him up just for you. He can sit in the back. Um, isn't he adorable? He is so precious. He's so cute. I love him. It is so soft. Oh my gosh. Oh, he I can sit like right in the back of all my videos. Yeah. So um. So yeah. Well, you'll message me. Send. Give me an address, and I'll, I'll send him to you. Oh, thank you. He is really cute. Yeah. Like. I already love him and want to squish him. <laughs> I'll squish him for you. Look at the squish. Look at the squish. <laughs> so cute. He's like so big. Yeah. He, he won't even fit on my hippo shelf. He's really literally going to have to hang out. He's going to yeah, sit behind you somewhere. So, he is cute. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, I got more here, but I think I'm going to be done showing for the night. I think I think I showed everything. I really wanted people to know where Bolo's. Mm -hmm. um, you always want to look for popular characters, you know, from cartoons or video games. You want to look for classic toy company, um, and you'll know them. They're cheap. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Disney, obviously, Sesame Street, Dr. Seuss, Cole's Cares, um, anything that's recognizable. And uh, it starts, no, star is not, star does not have feeling. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think, like, you had a lot of the same, so mm -hmm. Alma knows what she's doing, guys. When she talks about plush, um, the queen says she knows. <laughs> she officially says she's part of the royal court. She knows what she's doing. Um, isn't this the second plush haul we've done together? Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so she knows her plush, definitely. So I will I will let you know when I load up on some more plush and we can maybe do this again on my channel. Yeah, and if you want to pick a different category, um, mm -hmm. I can source for something different. Okay. Um, I was going to look for more shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd love to do a shoe haul. Well, you tell me once you, once you have a good amount of shoes. Okay. Um, I always, always have shoes. I pick them up all the time. You just need to get yourself some gloves, Lysol stuff, you know, just... Just to pick them up, hold them, examine them, and then um, and then spray them down when you get them home. I wanted to go to the bins because I heard from a couple of people that if you go to the ones that have already been picked over, a lot of times you find the gems that because they when the people like flock on it and fight over the top, they only look at the top stuff, and a lot of the stuff on the bottom gets overlooked. Oh yeah, at the bins where where I go, this I go to three different bins. Um, People go and they swarm and they get, you know, boots and sneakers are kind of what people are crazy about. And after all this dust settles, I will go through bins and I will I will find amazing shoes that people just aren't looking for brands, you know. Yeah, and I'm in Jason Decent's Facebook group, so I have his um Bolo list. Bolo lists. I was gonna study those and try try to go to the bins. Probably not this weekend because it's it's ninety nine cent day, goodwill. But yeah, I mean, there's there's Bolo list. I mean, he has a he has a good one. But um, just look at look at sold listings on eBay. There's nothing better than to look at um, eBay solds and prices um, to learn what to pick up and what's popular. So yeah, shoes are just like um, like I was telling Jason. I'm self-taught on plush and, and clothing, but when you're getting everything for ninety nine cents. Take it home, and if it's if it's not good, you know to never buy it again. But shoes right. cost a little bit more than ninety nine cents, and so I can't just buy everything and bring it home and teach myself. Right. I have to really learn how to comp at the store, I guess. Yeah, I I'm very hesitant to buy shoes at retail Goodwill or Salvation Army because you know I the prices are higher, but at the bins um, you can take a chance on things. So. Mm -hmm. Over so I'll let you know. I'm gonna go out and get some more. I gotta get the uh, video together. It's not what I wanted it to be. I like I said, I lost a lot of footage, and I went twice, and I only got one pair of shoes. Um, I don't know that I'm having any luck at the Goodwill retail. I just don't think they have any. Everything I see is like brands I know, and if I know what they are, they're not worth money. <laughs> Um, I did find one pair of Converse, and I and I still have this video. I'll have to put it. I got so excited from, like, across the store. I was recording. I'm like, guys, it's Converse. <laughs> and when we got up on top of them, somebody had written all over them with a ballpoint pen and doodled. And you, they were just ruined. Oh, no. Jamie's uh, back from oh wild cooking. Ooh, I'll have to see what you cook, Jamie. You're going to post yeah. it on um, Instagram? I always drool over all the food you show. I know he's like a fancy chef. I know. Jamie makes the best food. So, all he's right, well, we are like right at the hour. So, huh? Jamie's not too far from me in Texas. Well, Let's you should go. cook for her. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but yeah, he's he's close by. I know. I uh, I look at his food and I don't know. He looks like a fancy chef. But I was going to say, we're like closing it right at an hour. So unless anybody else has any more questions, we're going to let you guys get back to your um, night. Hairspray works on pen and then spray them. Okay, but these Converse were literally covered. Like, 
I don't know how to explain it. I have it on video to show you guys in the um, finished challenge video. But I mean, they were like, there was no, not even the rubber soles were free. They had literally written on every inch of these shoes. And they were a light color. I want to say they were maybe white. I could be wrong, but um, I yeah. didn't think there was any saving them. Yeah. I, I'm getting more selective with shoes. There used to be shoes that, you know, I thought, okay, I can clean them. I can, you know, if it's a little something, you know, I have shoe glue that you can do repairs with. Um, I've gotten to the point where if it needs anything, I, I'm not picking it up because I just have a pile of collected to do, you know, repairs and cleaning that I'll never do. And then I re-gift them or re-donate. So, yeah, I have a pair of Nikes sitting here that um, my son picked out and they're going to need like, you know, those nail brushes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need to take that to the sole and literally scrub it all clean. The tops look great and the inside looks great. It's just the bottom that's bad. And they've been sitting over there since June because I don't want to do that. <laughs> I have new shoes sitting here. Have you seen the ones that are the prototype from the Adidas lab that I have? No. Oh, um, I moved them. But they like have brand new tags on them. They're from the lab. They were prototypes, never worn. I got them. Those, are, them. those are easy. I know. Why are they still sitting here? Because they were sitting next to the Nikes that need cleaned, and I have a pair of Skechers. I picked up that need cleaned. Um, and I guess I kind of feel like if I'm going to do one, you do in my, yeah, it's in my head. Like if I'm doing plush today, I'm taking all photographs of plush. If I'm doing jeans, it's jeans day. And since I only have like three pairs of shoes sitting around, I never get around to photographing them. Okay. But you are going to source more. You're going to try to source more shoes. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll do that. The next one will be a shoe haul. Okay, and we'll do it on your channel. Okay, nice. So no heart attack if they see it on mine. <laughs> but no, I've, I, there's just so much money in them, and I at least want to try. I want to at least say I tried. So if I go to the bins once or twice, and I still don't find anything, I tried. Right. But if I go and I find, like, teaks or those mules, uh, what are they, that have, like, the American, I don't know. I just, I have to try. I can't not try. Right. Um, Hi, Todd. And Hi, Todd. Justin, Justin is here. Pac-Man. Hi, Justin. I see. All right, guys. So we're going to let you go. So um, in the next week or two, I will make an effort to go to the bends. Um, if it's not crowded, I will film me sourcing for shoes at the bins. But if there's a lot of people, I don't feel comfortable trying to be sneaky. Um, and if I get shoes that need cleaned up, Keith has already volunteered because he's amused to film me cleaning them. So as soon as I have enough um, piled up, I will get up with Alma and I will be over on her channel doing a shoe haul. Um, thanks for joining us tonight for the plushy haul. I hope you guys all learned something or saw something that you didn't know before or something, um, or something. <laughs> I just hope that everybody learned something from every video I put out. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, thank you, Elma, for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you to Jamie, my moderator, for showing up. Uh, my other moderators are busy tonight, so it's awesome that Jamie poked in around his kids and thank you to everyone in the chat who came in and um participated and watched i appreciate each and every one of you without you guys there would not be a flipping hippos please smash that like button on your way out the door if you haven't already and you'd like to please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo you can find us on instagram facebook and twitter we are at flipping hippos alma is my thrifted escape at my thrifted escape on instagram my thrifted escape on youtube Follow her, subscribe to her as well. She's amazing. She does a lot of shoes and handbags. So that's something that's different from my channel. Um, and you guys have a really good night. Thanks again. I think she waves by with the hippo. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bob.